it's hammer time. This is when we like to help you with home improvement tips. And there are mistakes to avoid before you start a new project. Jason McCullough joined us earlier to find out about grout. Good to see you. Hi there. From Brothers Redevelopment, you do so much in our community, and I know you're getting ready for your annual paint-a-thon. Yes. So what are the guidelines if somebody wants to send in an application, what should they look for? Sure. Well, you need to be a senior, um, 16 and older, uh, own your home, and basically that's it. After that, it's really a down to kind of your... Be, be lower fixed income, have a need. Okay, you know? so if you're a senior, you own your home, you need mm -hmm. a nice fresh coat of paint, then call the number below, 720-339-5864. That's 720-339-5864. Today, we're doing spring cleaning mistakes and what we need to avoid, right? Yeah, some DOI stuff. Yeah. And of course, it's okay to buy the cheapest materials or no? I tend not to because they won't hold up as long, okay. um, especially with hardware and kind of the tools you buy. I brought, you know, this is a three inch brush that's it's probably about five or six dollars less than this nicer brush. Okay. But this has so much more use, and if you clean it, this will last a lot longer than this one. Okay, so let's show that. This is the nicer brush, mm -hmm. and this one is like what five, six dollars. This is probably cheaper? three to four dollars oh, okay. cheaper. Yeah, this is a little bit more, and it just you know there's more uses, lasts longer, built better, better bristle, and see notice the angle. Right. Uh, you can get to better spots. Yep. Is it okay to buy products online then, because you won't be able to touch and actually see the bristles? I tell people it's fine if you're familiar with what you're purchasing and always read the reviews and make sure it's from a reputable website. And many people think before a project, budget, budget, budget mm -hmm. isn't important, but things we can do quickly. What are some of the, your thoughts when we think about stuff like that? You know, try to add up your materials, especially if it's a DIY project, mm -hmm. add up your materials and then add 10% because something's going to happen. You're going to have to go back and get more. That's the true. Yeah. So if you're creating your budget, add 10% to it just in case something happens. Mm -hmm. And how important is it to test an area before you actually start your project? I always, especially with something like painting or uh, we're going to do some tile work today, always put it in the room and then let it sit there for a while. Do a small area and let it sit for a while so you see it in different lights. How important is it to measure? your area before oh, starting I, your DIY. I know a lot of people like to eyeball and use the old thumb trick. I measure twice and then write it down just in case. Okay. Always, yeah. And again, this is Jason McCullough from Brothers Redevelopment, and he's giving us some great advice today. You can go to brothersredevelopment.org. Is it necessary to seek out professional help before you do your own project? You know, it helps to get some consulting if you have that availability. Also, if you're going to alter anything with like your electrical system or your plumbing system mm -hmm. or move any framing or anything that's structural, you always want to check with your city because you're probably going to have to pull a permit. For oh, that's true. That's yeah. true. Okay, now let's focus specifically on grout. Sure. This is DIY, what you can do yeah. at home. How do we start? Well, you want to choose which grout you need. So I brought mm -hmm. a kind of a vignette here. We've got some wall tile. You can see here they're self-spaced, so it's very thin grout mm -hmm. joints. That's when you use the non-sanded. There's two different types of grout. There's sanded and non-sanded. Mm -hmm. So I pre-mixed some, some non-sanded, and it's real creamy. You should mix it to about like kind of a uh, peanut butter consistency. Okay. And then you just spread that on and wipe it off. Anything larger than a one-eighth of an inch, you want to use sanded grout. And, and you're that's gonna what we're going to mix here. today? Yep, you're going to mix okay. that. Okay, so here. let me show what it looks like ahead of time before I do this. Yep, just a powder. You okay. can buy the stuff pre-mixed, but it doesn't keep very long. It's much dif more difficult to clean off. Okay. Um, I just like buying the powder because you can control the, the, the density and kind of control better, and it lasts a lot longer. So I go. You're just going to wet a sponge? Yep, so I don't actually pour the water oh into no, it? Oh, no, because you can always add more. But if you add too much water, then you got to add more it. grout. Yeah. And I'm just stirring it like this. Yep. It's really that easy? Yeah, just stir it. A little bit more there. You have to be patient with it because... It's kind of just like mixing, yeah, yeah. mixing dough kind of thing. Okay. And this is uh, tricks that you can do at home if you want to update your grout. Are, is all grout gray like this or can you no, do you no, add a little coloring? No, huge <laughs> color, yeah. We just did gray because I try to tell people to always use neutral colors in their grout. Right. You can buy blue, green, red. Oh, so the powder comes of, different colors yeah, already. Yeah, it's pre-dyed, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that a good... It, it's not as smooth as the other one. Do we no, need more water? No, it's got the sand, so it'll be a little more chalky, okay. so that's actually good. You want your grout drier is better than wetter, because because the wetter it is, the more it'll sag. All so right. you kind of want it. This is perfect. You got it, so it holds on your perfect trowel. What do we do next? We have about a minute left. So yeah, we would let it sit for ten minutes. Oh great. Yeah. Okay. So uh, no, you're gonna place it on your tile, and then you're gonna grab your trowel and just wipe that in. Can I do that? Yeah, pull that okay. through. Kind of at a diagonal works a little better. And press it in those joints. There you go. Go just, back by, by yep, it like that. Yep, just press it right in there. There you go. Can I do it all over like this? Oh, yeah. Yes, oh, okay. it all over. Nice. 
Yeah, I go. need a little bit more. What mistakes do we need to avoid? <laughs> Well, you don't want to let it sit and dry too long once you've got it on the tile. You want to wait okay. till you get, and I'll wipe it a little off so you can see here, but you want to wait till it gets that kind of a dusty shine to it, mm -hmm. and then you uh, wipe it off right away. And okay. always wipe three times, and always use a tile sponge, Oops. otherwise you'll have what's called haze. Haze? And haze, yeah, it's kind of, it looks like it's, you can see all the white marks, yeah. and it's really difficult to get that off once it's set. Okay, wipe it and see how good I did. I think there's all right, here we go. still some spots that I think I you did really good. Really? Yeah, I think you oh did. Oh my gosh, so I feel so proud. It. Look, Look at how. This is my first time so I've ever. So nice. I mean, that's why I'm married, so my husband does the grout, <laughs> really. <go>. Yep, nice <laughs> I just married him for his grout talent. For his grouting skills? Yeah, my <laughs> wife's same way. You did awesome, Jason. Right. Thank you so much. Oh, I no really problem. appreciate it. Let me give them all the contact information to get a hold of you sure guys. Thing. Again, if you'd like to learn more about the work that this guy does, Jason, and he can help others, too, go online to brothersredevelopment.org. That web address, again, is brothersredevelopment.org. You can also call 303-202-6340 with any questions. Questions. Now, if you're interested in sending in an application for the upcoming Paintathon, here's the number to use. It's 720-339-5864. That number again, if you need a fresh coat of paint on your house, you own that house and you're a senior, 720-339-5864. And just a reminder, what you saw on today's show is not necessarily a service provided under the mission of Brothers Redevelopment.